I figure I'm just going to start this thing because I'm sitting here and I'm trying to figure out how to start it and what I want to say. And I'm just wasting more time because I have been procrastinating. Yeah, I do a daily 60 second video. I've been doing it for a while now. And yeah, every two weeks I have been doing dope for like the last two weeks, which is cool. But there's so many other avenues I should be using on a regular basis, and I'm just not doing that. And it's all because of procrastination. For real, for real. I could have done the podcast tonight. I could have done hyphenation. Did I do hyphenation? No. I ate a bunch of carbs, and I watched Mark Rubier at Coachella, and uh, watched in the jury duty, and that's it. And then it's like, oh, I got to go get Aaliyah. And now I'm out of time. I was upset the other day because I didn't get to come home and record the podcast like I wanted to. And yet, when I have an opportunity to do it, I don't want to do anything because of procrastination. So, let me talk about something that I wrote down a long time ago. I don't even know. I don't even know if it's on this list right here. Let's see. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, critical task. So 2021, I discovered Peter McKinnon. Pretty sure it was 2021, and Casey Nine sat around the same time. So it was probably like, I don't know, 2020 and 2021 are such a blur. They just run together so much. I, I discovered them for the first time. Yes, I know they're uber famous YouTubers, whatever. I discovered them, and Peter McKinnon uploaded a video about a critical task. And that's something that comes from the 75 hard program. I'm not doing the 75 hard program. Hell no. But something he was talking about in that video was literally sitting down with a notebook like this. He had a real fancy one with a really fancy pen and it had this little strap on it. And you're supposed to sit down beginning of each day and write down a critical task that you want to do. And so I was watching it. I was in bed sick that day. I think I was just dehydrated. And I watched it, and Angel walked in, and she watched it. She's like, that's not a bad idea. I was like, you know what? That's not a bad idea. So I ordered these off Amazon, these little notebooks. It was like a two-pack for 10 bucks at the time. I'm sure it's probably still around there. Inflation couldn't have gotten that crazy. Maybe I'll throw a link in my description, and y'all can go get it. But, yeah, I just started back on August 2nd, 2021. And my, I changed it up a little bit. I knew that if I literally sat down and wrote eight tasks, it would be difficult for me to do. So my goal was to hit eight tasks, and then that was my goal every day, to do eight tasks that were important that were outside of work, and then go from there. That was my whole idea. So I started out with, uh, I got three things done. It, it started out really slow at first. And then by the eighth, I know y'all can't see this. Um, yeah, it, it's real blurry. But by the eighth, I was up to like set, uh, seven tasks. And then let's see, let's jump over to uh, August 24th. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things. So I, w I had an idea of what I wanted to do every day. And I was just trying to, trying to knock them out. And honestly, look, on 925, September 25th, the list was 17 things long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15 things I wrote in this book. And I did this for all the way up until, I want to say December of 2021. And then I, I kind of got away from it. Maybe it was even January. And I came back to it for a while. And the very last time I logged anything in here was August of last year. So looking at my very last task list in here, I only have one thing that said calls. So I'm guessing I was trying to call about getting our roof fixed. Uh, before that, there was a video edit read 10 pages, there's an HTA access file I was trying to fix, uninstall WordPress, low carb, gallon, bring gear, and I guess I needed hot dogs. Uh, but all of these went unchecked. And like the last day I actually was productive was May 25th last year. I had 13 things written down and I accomplished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's a great idea. And I even tried to go to a uh, app format. I found an app that lets you literally like make a list and then check things off so you could see it. It wasn't working the same. It was easier to ignore the app. And when I had the book and I was doing it, 
I was getting stuff done. So it wasn't really that bad. I was, I was like, this, this actually works. I, I'm into it. I, I like it. But then, wh why didn't I stick with it? Why didn't I continue to make the daily task list? Because for me personally, I felt like I didn't need it. I didn't need a to-do list. That wasn't who I was. This was fun for a while. And not even fun. This was useful for a while. But surely I was prioritized enough where I could do it without it. Wrong. Wrong. So while I no longer do a daily list, and while I'm not logging into an app or anything like that, it did help me accomplish the fact that every day there's certain things I want to do. And I would sit down and do them. And so from that, doing the critical task, is when I expanded into jotting down notes into my Google Keep, which I still do to this day. I have a countdown for Spider-Verse right here. You're not going to, you might be able to see it. But right here, bring up Google Keep. It's got all the things. This would be a good time for a screen record. Maybe I'll do it and throw it in there. Who knows? But this is where I keep all my, my wraps. I write all my wraps in here. Any kind of notes. But I have something literally called Notebook. So it's got a list of videos I want to do for Dope, a couple hyphenation ideas, a couple ideas for it's not going to do, uh, not going to write itself, which is my newsletter. You can subscribe to it, b-substack.com, or you can just read it on hyphenuniverse.com when it goes up. So I, I continue to do that, but then I expand it into this monstrosity, which is I'm just going to write down every idea I have because I have a video out there. It's called Write Down Your Ideas, where I just write down ideas. And I started this a long time ago. I'm still pulling from it, but then I completely got away from this too. Fast forward to this evening. Again, I want to sit down and do hyphenation. I have ideas. I still want to do the greatest producers of all time. I have albums I want to talk about because I, I like to talk about music on Hyphenation. Um, you can find Hyphenation wherever podcasts are podcasted or at hyphenpodcastgroup.com, bringing great podcasts to the people. I finally changed the slogan back. Um, yeah, uh, did Bow Wow Fail? That's a great one. I want to talk about Godson at some point. There is, um, oh, I recently on episode, well, last year at this point on Hyphenation, Royce the five nine moved into my top ten, but I didn't really explain it because I was talking about Kendrick moving into my top three. I thought about revisiting that whole list about the the top twenty MCs, which I did back in twenty seventeen, I want to say, and the list has shifted a little bit. But I was thinking, like, I'm sure that it's shifted enough where I could do another episode about the changes and why people are where they're at. And so I had there's two ideas written down on my phone. I want to talk about Midnight's at some point, but obviously Taylor's on this massive tour that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> and I haven't re-listened to Midnight since the first listen. So I haven't wanted to do that yet. And then the other thing is, after watching James Morrison's performance in Dead to Me in the season three, which is the last season of Dead to Me, if you haven't watched Dead to Me on Netflix, go do yourself a favor. It is incredibly, it'll have you on the edge of your seat the entire series. It's very good. Christina Applegate, Linda Cardellini. Go check that out. It's on Netflix. James Marsden's in it. He's really good. I've wanted to talk about James Marsden for a minute. And he, he popped up in that jury duty show I was just talking about. And he's great in that. And I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to talk about James Marsden. What else do I want to talk about? Maybe the jury duty show. I can kind of talk about jury duty. It's starting to get build up speed. I don't even know if they'll be able to recreate it anymore because of how unique it was. I'm not going to talk about it at length there. If you know, you know what's on freebie. Go check it out. Um, but then I was like, what other James Marsden movies do I like? And there's, there's a couple, but then I'm looking through his filmography. I'm like, do I like enough movies and TV shows to really talk about how much I love James Marsden? Um, yes, because when you love something, you can talk about it. It doesn't matter if you're new to it, if you're not that experienced in it, or if you know every single thing. We don't gatekeep here at Hyphen Universe. Absolutely not. So... I was like, okay, I could do that. And then I was like, how am I going to fill at least 45 minutes talking about James Mars and, and jury duty without saying, oh, it's been a while since I've done the podcast, guys. Sorry about that, which I hate to do on the podcast because um, it has been a minute. I mean, life comes at you fast. It is what it is. But I realized I needed a list, and I've even started making a list. Oh, damn it. 
there's a whole list of something I could have talked about and I completely forgot about it. This is why we make lists, people. This is why I started making lists. Because it's the only way for me to remember what I want to do on everything. <laughs> I wrote down critical tasks on this paper a long time ago saying I didn't need to do this because it helped me get more organized, but I was organized enough now to where I could accomplish things without it crippling me. Surprise, surprise, when it comes to creative stuff, apparently I, I'm crippled without this stuff. And I realize that now. So I've been slacking in the YouTube video department, even with the podcast stuff. I still have tons of Rasslecast stuff out there that I could edit. Haven't done that. Haven't done any uh, horizontal videos. It's all been vertical. And I got to go get Aaliyah soon. I was like, I have to sit down and just talk about, one, it's okay to make lists. It don't matter if you're 30. It don't matter if you're 40 like me. It don't matter if you're 20. If you make a list, you make a list. The main thing is you follow the list. And if you don't follow the list, you save the list for the next day and you come back to it. Because this is valuable information. If I saw this at some point earlier, then maybe I would record a hyphenation. M maybe. What, what episode am I on? 107, I think. Oh, 207, I think. I think that sounds right. It might be 209. I don't even know what episode I'm supposed to be on. It's been so long. It's been a couple months. But saying all of that, I'm going to be more diligent about writing down, again, write down your ideas, but then to kind of script out what I want to do as far as podcast, video, so I really have the opportunity where it's like, all right, I have time. I'm going to go sit down and record. Just like over here on the wall, I have a whole list of song titles. And then it gets two checks if it's recorded, one check if it's written, and it's just a title if it's not written. That, that's how it is. I've been doing that for years, and it's worked, and it's continuing to work to this day. I never have to worry about what am I going to write about when it comes to a song. I just got to find a beat that matches that, that song title. Shout out to Guru, because Primo talks about him doing that all the time on his channel. And I do it. So I need to be more vigilant about really sitting down and knowing, okay, I'm going to do hyphenation. This is what we're doing. All right, I'm going I'm to sit down and do a video. These are topics I'd like to talk about. Even dope. These are songs I want to talk about. I've been trying to get away from writing about songs, writing down songs I want to do for dope because I feel like it doesn't make it as fresh when it's like, all right, I, re I really like this Talib Kweli song went back in the day. I want to listen to, I want to talk about it now. But it's like that feeling I had when I heard a Talib Kweli song it's completely gone now. And I listened to that solo album two months ago. It was in the episode Hyphenation. It was quality. Do I want to talk about Gorilla Monsoon rap tomorrow? Could I? Sure. But am I as excited as the day I listened to it? No. Dope has to be off the cuff. I can't really script that. But when it comes to podcast, when it comes to doing videos for this channel, it's all right there. If I have a nice organized list, I can sit down and be like, you know what? I could tell the story about the time I was at Mike Ossie's wedding and the DJ cut poison off in the middle of a song, which isn't even really a good, a good topic for a video anymore because I don't remember what song he train wrecked into. It literally got to the part where it's like, it's driving me out of my mind. That's why it's hard for me to find. Can't get it out of my switch song. And I was mad AF. That's the whole story. But I just got to be more organized, and I encourage you to be more organized in whatever way that works. If it works for you doing it on an app, absolutely. If you're a pen, a pen and paper guy, like I apparently am, I have tons of notebooks laying around, um, you can do that too. So that that's that's what I'm here to say today, and that's what's been going on with me lately. So I'm going to really sit down and make sure that I start – scripting things out a little bit for the better of everyone and if you're still watching this video appreciate everybody who watches this you can like the video you can comment on the video and i'll respond i will heart it and like it and i'll respond and you can subscribe and if you hit that bell you never miss an upload which is awesome so please do that if you want to check out um i have a buy i think it's called buy me a coffee because i did the patreon thing the Patreon might still exist. No, I think I deleted the Patreon. I did the, the coffee thing, the KO-FI. 
I just wanted something where if people wanted to contribute to me monthly, they could, but at the same time, they want to do one time donation. It wouldn't be a problem either. So it's literally buy me a coffee. It actually is buy me. It's my, my page says buy me a sushi. Cause I love sushi. Buy me a coffee.com slash be hyphen. And you can donate whatever to all the things that I am procrastinating on. So that's it. That that's, that's what I wanted to say. This felt good. It felt cathartic. Also, silence is cathartic sometimes, but not when I'm when I'm about that life. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for there's plenty of other videos where you watch. There's hyphen nation videos, there's Rasselcast videos. I thought there was a spider because there's some spider webs when I came down here. So I was like, mm. but uh yeah. We'll see how it goes. But more content, more content, more content. That's not just me going, what up, though? <laughs> that was the bread. <laughs> what up, though? Good morning. You know, so I appreciate it, guys. Thanks, y'all.